Le Dia Machine. Le Dia Machine. The States and Montreal with regards to like um, the, the hip hop scene, for example. Uh, here I know this is like no hip hop station. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's one thing. That's one thing we're working on. You know, yeah. so it's hard to. You know, it's hard. It's it's and, and I don't heard a lot of rappers out here in this city. That's nice. Yeah. You know that, that but they don't have no outlet. Exactly. That's you know a what I mean? Platform. And you know, in the states, I mean, hell, you you running a million mm-hmm. hip hop. You know, everybody and their mama got a hip hop station. Out there, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So it's 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 so many different outlets that you can just go to. You know, everybody say you just drop a mixtape in Atlanta, you will boom the next day. You know, mm-hmm. so. It's that, like that's true, yeah. But then you know you come here to Montreal and hell, you can't even find a hip hop station to even know what's going on. You know that was the first thing I did when I crossed the border, tried to find something to listen to, and I was like, oh, man. I hear you, the man. next one hundred two three ninety six point five. That that that's a big issue, and that that comes back a lot. Um, one thing I wanted to know, you know, like we know you as the football player um, mm-hmm. with the Alouettes, but. How did you make the transition into music? You know, mm-hmm. is that something that you've started a long time ago? Something that's more recent? I've been just blessed, man. Started off at poem writing um, okay. when I was a kid. Okay. I mean, youngest, about like six or seven. Um, as far as I can remember, my mama could tell me. You know, uh, wrote my first song. I think I was ten uh, for my older cousin. That's uh, what's up? Man, I've been off the porch a long time when it came to that music, you know. Nice. Uh, just been at it since a kid, um, having fun with it at first, and then everybody kind of, you know, you get around your friends, everybody get the freestyle, and then before you know it, everybody like, yeah. man, see if you can bring that back one time. Or, I hear you. you know, I hear you. You, you record yes. something and play it, and all of a sudden it's a hood classic. You know what so I mean? So you started in Florida or yeah. in Cincinnati, Florida, Florida. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. And um. Like, uh, tell us a little bit about that that um, Gilly feature that you did, uh, the the uh, the frat house frat uh, record house. that's on a put in uh, put in work mixtape. Well, me and Gilly, man, uh, we became homeboys. You know, he a, he a diehard sports fan. A lot of people don't know about a lot of musicians. You know, a lot mm-hmm. of artists. They you know they they regular that's folks. True. You feel me? Yeah. So when I uh, when I got signed to Philly, mm-hmm. uh, that'll been in January 2012. Uh, is when I signed with Philly. Um, I mean, the first night I went out, just instantly, this little short cat walk up to me, bald headed, yeah. you know, <laughs> Prada lenses on, like, hey, yo, let me talk to you. Yeah. Big goonies around him, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's up, bro? And then I'm looking at him, more and more I'm looking, I'm like, man, I know this cat from somewhere. Uh-huh. And then it dinged to me, hey, this the buddy that was beefing with Wayne. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. And hey, but I have to say, I, I have to say something about that, man. We were talking about this uh, the other day. I've noticed a difference since um, Wayne started messing, stopped messing with Gilly, man, as far as the, the quality of the lyrics, man. So, I mean, we were having that debate uh, the other day. I mean, to me, it it seems obvious that, mm-hmm. you know, Gilly was probably ghostwriting for Wayne, yeah. man. I mean, the <laughs> there, quality just went difference. down dramatically, <laughs> man. It, it's just crazy, man. For I don't know. sure. I, yeah. How you feel about that, JoJo? I do have to agree. Yeah? There no? is a difference, yeah. I mean, the Carter 2, Carter 3, yeah. I mean, big difference. Yeah. But hey. His uh, entire <laughs> persona changed. So, yo, what's next for your, your music career, man? A- anything coming out, new features or anything like that? Man, you got to go on that main source.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to go on that <laughs> main source, man, to get it, you know. Yes, it will sir. be dropping probably in the next probably in this next next month that next That's what's month up. every month we're gonna try to drop um i just been blessed man to run into feezy you know, that's my boy you know yes. what i'm saying you know feezy the main sure. man shout out to the guy yeah you know um he just you know it's it's rare when you run into people and you can click musically you can click mm-hmm. on and that's off true, the mic man. you know so anytime mm-hmm. me and buddy done jumped on something it's always been an instant classic so that's what's up we can't wait to hear that record I man know. the main source.com that's yes. where you gotta go get it